So on January the 9th, I decided to hook up a, a generator to my house before the snow got here. This is the generator, the Predator 9000. I ran it for three hours for a break-in period and did two oil changes during that time, which it needed. I put a vent through the wall for the exhaust and hooked up an exhaust fan in the wall and I put a plug in the floor to put that cord through and uh, the cord will come right over here to the plug that I hooked up that's the Reliance L uh, 14 30 amp plug. There's the vent on the outside. And on the inside, to my breaker panel box. And I hooked it, put that little sticker up there. And, uh, I just moved a 30 amp breaker from this part down to here. I wasn't using that. So I moved it down there. I've got an interlock switch on here which prevents the main from being on while these are on and vice versa. So that's it. And uh, the 9000 powers my entire trailer so we don't have to worry about it. So. I highly recommend the 9000 Predator. It's a good generator. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, in my shop, uh, with the doors open, the DB level was 65. With the doors shut, it's 45. So, I know uh, for somebody being inside their home uh, while these doors are shut, is they'll probably still be able to hear it a little bit but not very bad it won't be an annoying sound to them so hopefully my neighbors won't get upset but that's it that's the 9000 predator generator uh, so if you decide to get one it's an easy hookup